guys remember in the last vlog when I was waxing poetic about what a beautiful New York City day it was and I was just running around New York City in a denim dress and some boots. Well, today is cold. In true New York fashion, it is now 30 something degrees. I'm wearing a big old coat, gloves, and it's just like, why though? It's the Friday before Easter and my husband and I don't have to work. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna pick up my camera and bring the girls along with me. I don't know what we're doing yet, but uh, I guess we'll find out together. So it's a few days later. You guys, it was much, much too cold for us to be out and about. So we just got something to eat very quickly and went home. So yeah, it's a much more beautiful day today. It's actually gorgeous. All I need really is this little blazer. If you haven't seen the haul where I got this blazer, it was a Zara ASOS haul. I will link it up here somewhere. Go watch that. I'm gonna go shoot some content first. And of course, I'm taking you guys along with me. to shoot content all day. And because we didn't get out um, early enough, there are people everywhere. Okay, so we're gonna try one more time to get at least one, two or three shots, shots, hopefully more than that. Before I used to do like YouTube, I've been doing YouTube for a long time, but before I started taking it more seriously and like my Instagram, I used to hear influencers say like how hard this was and I was like, yeah, okay, sure. You take some pictures and so you do video, you record a video, what's so hard? You guys, it is a lot of work from recording to filling out the description box to trying to get the right picture. It is fun work for me because I'm a creative person. Don't be fooled. The influencers that get paid a lot of money do a lot of work. This <laughs> is not easy. It's fun, but it's, it's definitely not. It's a lot of work. Anyway, let me go try to get this last shot. Hopefully, we get this last shot. George, I think we got something. <sighs> just got another one. It is like, I think it just depends on the time of day, the lighting, like where the sun is, and the amount of people. So, got another one. I've had the worst reaction to um, some new retinol that I was trying and I mean it is just terrible my face is kind of breaking out up here um, it's wrinkly because it's so dry I went too high on the percentage of um, retinol and now I could really tell I don't you guys probably can't tell on the camera because the light is around but the the um, the texture of my skin is suffering. I don't know why I decided to go up. I was like, oh, my face is doing great. Let me change the percentage of retinol I'm using. Bad idea. So now I'm just kind of backing off and um, 
backing off of the retinol and giving my face or my skin a chance to kind of um, get it back to normal. Yeah, you can't really tell in the... See all this stuff on my bed? Excuse all the stuff. <laughs> okay, I'm cleaning, I'm doing a lot, I'm getting ready to leave. Um, yeah, you can't really tell on the camera, but yeah. It's suffering. Like, under my eyes is really dry, so there's like lines under it. It's no bueno. It's no bueno. Anyway, it is a rainy day today. Um, but I do want to do a few things. I actually rather just stay home. <laughs> But I do have to do a few things. One thing I have to do is, if you guys follow my community page, you saw that I got some Manolo Blahniks. Um, and I'll show it to you. I don't know if I'm putting it up on the screen right now. But they are beautiful and they are gorgeous. Um, they were on sale. And that's why I got them. Like, they were a really good sale. However, they are too small. So I actually have to send those back, which is devastating because they don't have a bigger size. Everybody told me that the Manola Blondix May sales ran small, um, but I didn't know, I didn't realize how small. If you've been following me for a while, you know I could wear a six and a half or a seven in shoe, and I got a seven and a half, and my foot is still hanging off. And I actually spoke to somebody um, who has several pairs, and she says she has to go up three sizes. So I need to go up probably to an eight, <laughs> which I've never worn an eight before in my life. Um, but they don't have it, it's not in stock. Where I got it from was Rue La La, which is um, a website where I got a lot of things that are discounted. I mean, the shoes were discounted very, very much. I didn't even want that color. I wanted this shoe, I wanted a few different shoes. I wanted this shoe, but I didn't want black. But because they were on sale, I was like, Okay. But because a black shoe never goes out of style, right? And this is a classic shoe. And then, um, come to find out, there is a mini coach tabby, um, a pillow tabby that I want to go look at. I'm not buying it. I just want to go see it and see how it looks. I'm interested to see how much smaller it is because I feel like the tabby is pretty darn small. I wonder if they're going to make a bigger one. And I also wonder if I would like it. You know what I mean? Like, will I want a bigger tabby? I don't know pillow tabby so we'll see and also I need some candles like I don't need candles that sounds so ridiculous oh my god I need candles now also I want some spring candles so I like to mix my bougie candles like my diptyque and my Jo Malone with my like home goods and Marshall's candles I think that's it today guys you know when you're watching a vlogger and they keep looking at themselves or uh, uh, somebody on YouTube they keep looking at themselves and not in the in the lens I'm trying to look at you guys and not at myself <laughs> but I'm looking at myself because I feel like um, my skin looks better than it did look yesterday because it was horrible like my eyes got puffy again um, all underneath here is dry if you can see right now there's wrinkles there because it's so dry it was so bad you guys it was so bad all right I'm gonna finish and I'll see you guys in a bit these are the shoes that I was talking about and they're just like classic and dainty and girly. These are the 70 heel height. And I'm just sick. I'm sick that they don't fit. I mean, they fit, but I have a little bit. It, it's right on the edge of the shoe. And I'd rather them, I'd rather have some space, you know? I never do not like that look. So if you're looking at these, just know that they run very, very, very small. Or maybe the different color, like a red, a nice red that will come in stock for my style um, for sale. Anyway, so yeah guys, that's them. This rain is so annoying and there's no reason for me to be wearing these sunglasses except for the fact that they're new and I wanted to show you guys. <laughs> anyway, we are going to Nordstrom because I want to see a few things. Like I said, it raining, it's raining so it kind of sucks but sometimes you just gotta shop and today is one of those days. regret getting the taupe um the taupe robe but look how pretty this pink one is oh my goodness this thing is oh this color is beautiful the 
this election at Bloomingdale's is better. Uh, but I don't really see anything. Not that I need anything. I just didn't see anything. That's see I was talking about, guys. <laughs> How do you guys feel about this color and this size? I think this is the smallest size. You guys remember I was telling you that bigger bags, like shoulder bags are in? I love this one from The Row. I don't need it, but I kind of love it. such a nice day out here that we decided to come outside and work. You guys, it is so nice outside, but we did have to come in because it started to get a little cool and I just was starting to be a little cold. So I wanted to discuss two things with you guys. The first thing is, how do you feel about the length of my vlogs? I know that some people like really, really long vlogs. When I'm editing, I try to keep it kind of not too long, like not short, but you know, somewhere in the middle, only because I know that my attention span is very uh, short so sometimes when there's like some people put up our vlog which I, I don't see myself doing are you somebody who watches short vlogs somewhere in the middle or you go for a good long vlog let me know so if you were following me on my community page you see that I put up two purses from Joma shop they were both the coach Cassie one I thought was red and the other one was blue I brought this because I thought it was gonna be red but it actually ended up being two-tone and being fuchsia here and a lighter pink here which um, I was disappointed at first but I actually kind of love I think it's a beautiful color for spring I already know that I like the Cassie because I have the oxblood color and yeah so I, I'm just gonna keep it <laughs> because it was a decent price um, recently I saw this week I should have put on my community page but this week on German shop they had a cream color Cassie and the black Cassie for $200 so you guys if you're on the market for a Cassie it's a good idea to look um, it's a good idea to look on Joma shop every once in a while all right so let's just get to some Sephora sale recommendations I usually recommend getting things that don't usually go on sale for example um, fragrances and by that I mean usually niche fragrances because you can get other ones on sale sometimes um, but something like good girl gone bad by Killian is something that I'm looking into that I might get Probably, perhaps. And then the other one I'm looking in is Killian Roses on Ice. I'm not 100% sure or sold on that yet, but it's, you know, in my cart. And then the Tom Ford uh, Sole Blanc, because if you watched my wish list video that I did a few videos back, you saw that that was on my wish list. So if you're a person who's into fragrance, I feel like this is a great time to really get some good fragrances. Even if it's not niche, like um, there was this YSL one or what I wanted. I can't think of the name right now but even if it's niche not niche it's a good time to stock up on that the other thing that I feel like is always good to stock up on is for me personally my foundation foundation is usually is usually one of the more expensive makeup products so I will probably get my um, my NARS radiant um, a foundation that I usually get because I always get it during the sale whatever foundation that you get it's a great time just to save uh, you know save some coins on I would recommend getting the uh, Gucci bronzer which I love the Gucci mascara love you guys have heard me talk about the Tom Ford lip glosses over and over and over again totally recommend that if you are not new here you know that I love Orbe products and I have one two three videos about them Orbe is now at Sephora and they are pricey so it is a great time to get some Orbe products so let's get to things that I'm going to try. I want to try the YSL um, All Hours Long Wear Natural uh, Matte Foundation. I don't know why I'm not a matte foundation girl, but I do want to try some YSL foundation. I have never tried it. And um, yes, yeah, so that's one thing I'm going to try. I'm also going to try the uh, Pat McGrath um, 
lipstick in extravaganza. It is a beautiful, bright pink, you know, fuchsia kind of color. And I'm totally feeling color right now after this whole swirled situation. I want some color, um, even though my mask will be on. <laughs> but hopefully it won't be on for, you know, the rest of the year. Maybe it will. But I still want the, to try the color. So I'm thinking about maybe trying that. And yeah, guys, I will let you know or show you what I got from the Sephora sale. What are you shopping? Or are you even shopping the sale? Like, do you need anything? I do have to say that there's not a lot that I need. So if I do do a haul, it's not going to be huge. It actually might even be in a vlog um, because I have so much stuff that I don't need more stuff right now. I need to work through what I have, um, except for fragrance. Fragrance doesn't count. <laughs> So anyway guys, that's it. That's my quick recommendation and a few things I may or may not be getting. Um, let me know if you're shopping the sale. As always you guys, if you liked the video, subscribe, leave a comment, share the video, and I will see you in my next video.